Get ready for a surprise, because in this video you're going to hear things that will astonish you. Just recently, 38 people over 60 were hospitalized due to muscle loss, a problem that can be prevented and is destroying the independence of a generation. Interestingly, from the age of 60 onwards, the body can lose up to 33% of its muscle mass without you realizing it. Doctors call this condition sarcopenia, which is responsible for 87% of hospitalizations among the elderly and causes a lot of expenses and distress for families. The problem is that this muscle loss usually has no symptoms. And suddenly you might find that you can't get up from your place or a small fall might cause a fracture because your muscles are no longer strong enough. But the good news is that researchers at Harvard University have discovered that there are certain foods with compounds that can even reverse this muscle loss process in people aged 70, 80. Most surprisingly, the best food on this list contains a specific type of protein that has performed better than chemical drugs in experiments. It has revived muscles that many doctors thought could no longer be restored. In a study, this food was able to reverse muscle loss in 91% of participants in just six weeks, and it is likely not in your kitchen right now. Before you start, please let us know in the comments where you are watching this video from, which city or country. Well, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel so you watch home. Don't miss the next videos. Your likes and comments help more people access this video. Without further ado, let's get to our list. First of all, it's Greek yogurt. Greek yogurt is for seniors who want to maintain their muscles. It's really good. The difference with regular yogurt is that it undergoes a special dehydration process that almost doubles its protein content. A small package contains about 15 to 20 grams of high quality protein, which is very important for muscles. The advantage of Greek yogurt for the elderly is that it contains casein protein, which digests slowly and gradually delivers amino acids to the muscles. Consuming it before sleep is very beneficial because it prevents muscle loss during overnight fasting, which is when muscles are more likely to break down. Greek yogurt also contains calcium, vitamin D, and phosphorus, which are good for bones and essential for proper muscle function. The probiotics it contains are very important for gut health, and research has shown that a healthy gut is crucial for nutrient absorption and reducing inflammation. Both of these are vital for maintaining muscle. To get the best results, choose plain, full-fat Greek yogurt that doesn't contain sugar. You can enhance its flavor with fruit, nuts, or honey, rather than buying ready-made yogurts that are usually full of sugar. Try to eat Greek yogurt at least four times a week, especially as a nutritious evening snack. The next item is fatty fish, such as salmon, mackerel, and sardines. They contain a lot of nutrients that are very important for maintaining muscle in the elderly. The most important of these is omega-3, especially EPA and DHA, which research has shown to reduce inflammation and prevent muscle loss. A small piece of salmon contains about 20 grams of complete protein, meaning it has all the essential amino acids needed for muscle repair and maintenance. The good thing about fatty sources is that omega-3 makes your muscles more sensitive to protein, meaning the protein you consume is more effective in promoting muscle growth. This is very important for the elderly because their bodies usually do not respond to protein as well as younger people. A study in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition published a study showing that elderly people who eat fatty fish twice a week lose less muscle compared to those who eat it less frequently. Vitamin D, which is present in these fish, is also very important because many elderly people have low levels of vitamin D and this vitamin is crucial for proper muscle function and strength. To ensure that to get the best results try to eat fatty fish exactly twice a week and if possible choose wild fatty fish. If preparing fish is difficult for you or you can't eat it regularly you can use high quality fish oil but eating the fish itself is really better. Mwah. The next item is eggs. 
it's done. Eggs are full of protein and nutrients and are a staple food worldwide. For seniors who want to maintain their muscles, eggs are one of the best and most affordable options. Many people only eat the egg whites, but you should know that the yolk also contains a lot of nutrients that are very good for the muscles. The protein in eggs is of very high quality, meaning the body can use it very effectively for muscle building. A large egg contains about 6 grams of complete protein, but many people don't know that nearly half of this protein is in the yolk, along with other nutrients like choline, vitamin D, and leucine. Leucine is an amino acid or, that is very important in stimulating muscle protein synthesis, even in older muscles no, that don't respond as well as they used to. A study conducted at the University of Illinois showed that eating whole eggs after exercise results in 40% more muscle building compared to when only the egg whites are consumed. This is very important for the elderly because the egg yolk contains certain substances that can combat muscle synthesis issues in older age. Recent research has shown that the cholesterol in eggs isn't as bad as once thought, especially for the elderly. It is now said that eating up to seven eggs a week is safe for most people and might even improve cholesterol levels. To get the best results, why not try to eat one egg a day? Eat it, especially for breakfast, when you usually consume less protein. Eggs are also a very good snack that you don't need to prepare and they are great for the elderly who have less energy. The next item is nuts and seeds. Nuts, lus, and seeds contain a lot of plant-based protein, healthy fats, and nutrients that together help maintain muscle in the elderly. They may not have as much protein as meat, but they help maintain muscle in a different way. Almonds, walnuts, and pumpkin seeds are the best on this list. A handful of almonds contains about 6 grams of protein along with magnesium, a very important mineral that many elderly people lack. It is crucial for muscle contraction and energy production. A deficiency in magnesium can lead to quicker muscle deterioration and increased muscle cramps. Walnuts also contain a lot of alpha-linolenic acid, a type of plant-based omega-3 that reduces inflammation and prevents muscle loss. Pumpkin seeds are rich in zinc, a nutrient that is crucial for testosterone production. This hormone decreases with age and is very important for maintaining muscle, even in the elderly. Vitamin E, which is found in nuts and seeds, is an antioxidant that protects muscle cells from damage. A study conducted at Tufts University showed that elderly individuals with higher blood levels of vitamin E lose less muscle. To maintain your muscles, try to consume a handful of nuts daily and seeds each day. You can put them in small containers to avoid overconsumption since they are high in calories. Try to choose unsalted nuts, especially if you have high blood pressure or your body retains a lot of water. The next item on this list is beans and legumes. Beans and legumes are a very good source for maintaining muscle, which many people underestimate. They might not have a lot of protein with about 15 grams of protein in each cooked cup of legumes, but they contain a lot of slow digesting protein and resistant starch, which are essential for the good bacteria in the gut. We are increasingly understanding the connection between gut health and muscle function because a healthy gut reduces inflammation and prevents muscle loss. The fiber in beans helps keep your blood sugar stable and prevents insulin spikes which can lead to muscle loss. Black beans, lentils, and chickpeas are rich in minerals, especially potassium, magnesium, and iron, which are crucial for proper muscle function. Many elderly people are deficient in these minerals. Iron. Deficiency is common among the elderly and prevents uh, muscles from using oxygen effectively to produce energy. A study conducted at the Human Nutrition Research Center at Tufts University shows that elderly individuals who consume legumes at least four times a week 
have more benefits compared to those who eat them less frequently. To achieve the best results, try to consume beans and various legumes at least three to four times a week. If your stomach gets upset, start with a small amount and gradually increase it. You can soak dried beans overnight to reduce the substances that cause bloating. If you use canned beans, try to choose low sodium canned options and rinse them well before use. The next item is leafy vegetables like spinach, kale, and beet greens. You might think these have nothing to do with muscles, but they are packed with nutrients that are very important for seniors who want to maintain their muscles. The good thing about these is that they contain a lot of nitrates, which the body converts into nitric oxide. This substance helps better deliver nutrients to the muscles, and nutrients are transferred more effectively, and waste products are removed more efficiently. A study conducted at the Karolinska Institute shows that consuming nitrates improves muscle function, especially in seniors who do not have good blood flow to their muscles. These vegetables also contain calcium, magnesium, betze, and potassium, which are crucial for proper muscle contraction. A cup of cooked spinach provides about 40% of your daily magnesium requirement. A deficiency in these minerals can lead to muscle cramps, weakness, and muscle loss. Leafy vegetables also contain vitamin K, which is gradually being recognized as an important nutrient for protein synthesis and muscle function. A study in 2015 showed that older adults who consume more vitamin K experience less muscle loss. To achieve the best results, try to consume at least two cups of base leafy vegetables daily. You can add them to smoothies, omelets, soups, or saute them with garlic and olive oil to enjoy as a delicious side dish. The next item is extra virgin olive oil. Extra virgin olive oil contains specific compounds that prevent muscle loss. Although this oil does not contain protein, it has anti-inflammatory properties that are very important for maintaining muscle in older adults. Oleocanthal, which is found in olive oil, acts like ibuprofen and reduces chronic inflammation. A study conducted at Louisiana University shows that oleocanthal inhibits the enzymes that cause muscle protein breakdown. Additionally, olive oil increases insulin sensitivity. Insulin resistance in older adults prevents muscles from effectively utilizing protein. The monounsaturated fats found in olive oil are crucial for the production of hormones like testosterone and growth hormone. These hormones decrease with age and are essential for maintaining muscle mass. A study showed that older adults who include olive oil in their Mediterranean diet have greater muscle strength compared to those on a low-fat diet and are less frail. To achieve the best results, try to consume two to three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil daily. You can add it to salads, drizzle it over vegetables after cooking, or use it for low heat cooking to preserve its nutrients. Store the oil in a dark bottle and keep it away from heat. Also, make sure to check the harvest date to ensure it's fresh. Next are berries. You might think berries have nothing to do with muscles, but the antioxidants they contain are very important for muscle preservation. As we age, muscles become more susceptible to damage, which causes them to deteriorate faster and take longer to repair. Blueberries, strawberries, and raspberries are rich in anthocyanins and polyphenols that combat free radicals. Free radicals damage muscle cells, and also harm mitochondria. Mitochondria are responsible for energy production within cells. A study conducted at Tufts University showed that consuming blueberries, hokein, helps muscles function better and recover faster. Berries also reduce inflammation. Acute inflammation is necessary for muscle growth, but chronic inflammation, which accompanies aging, causes muscles to deteriorate faster. The compounds found in berries help balance inflammation. Vitamin C, which is present in berries, especially strawberries, is crucial for collagen production. Collagen helps keep the connective tissues surrounding the muscles.
healthy. This is very important because these tissues weaken over time. To achieve the best results, try to eat a cup of berries a day. Frozen berries are just as beneficial as fresh ones, and they are cheaper and easier to find. You can add them to yogurt, what I'm, porridge, yeah, or smoothies, or enjoy them as a delicious snack. Their natural sweetness makes them a great substitute for unhealthy desserts. The next item on our list is lean beef. So, lean beef is packed with high quality protein and nutrients, which are great for maintaining muscle in the elderly. A small piece contains about 25 grams of complete protein, which includes all the essential amino acids needed for muscle health. Beef is very beneficial for the elderly because it contains a lot of leucine, an amino acid that triggers muscle protein synthesis. As we age, muscles respond less to growth hormones, which is why you need to consume more leucine to achieve the same results. Beef contains more leucine compared to other foods. In addition to protein, beef also has creatine, a substance that helps muscles store more energy and become larger. As we age, the body cannot produce enough creatine, which is why consuming foods that contain creatine, mocha, becomes more important. Beef also contains iron, zinc, and B vitamins, which are crucial for energy production and oxygen transport to the muscles. A study conducted at McMaster University shows that elderly individuals who include lean red meat in their diet gain more strength when they exercise compared to those who get their protein from plants. To maintain your muscles and also take care of your heart, choose lean meats like fillet, sirloin, or neck. Chutika. Try not to eat meat more than two or three times a week and each time have a small portion. Beef from grass-fed cows is always better because it has healthier fats and more omega-3s, which are anti-inflammatory. Lastly, we have whey protein on this very important list, which is considered the best option for combating muscle loss due to aging in the elderly. This complete protein source derived from dairy has the highest concentration of leucine among all natural foods. Leucine is an essential amino acid that plays a crucial role in directly stimulating muscle protein synthesis even in aging muscles that may have become resistant to growth signals. The unique value of whey for the elderly lies in its exceptionally fast digestion and absorption, which leads to a significant increase in blood amino acid levels. This effectively overcomes the anabolic resistance found in aging muscle tissue. Important studies conducted by McMaster University showed that elderly individuals who use whey protein supplements retained 40% more muscle mass compared to those who received the same amount of protein from traditional dietary sources. In addition to its rich protein content, whey is abundant in bioactive peptides that enhance blood flow to the muscles and increase insulin sensitivity. And another good news is that whey contains a series of active peptides that improve blood supply to the muscles and increase insulin sensitivity this is very important because insulin resistance is often seen in the elderly, which prevents muscles from properly utilizing protein. Whey protein is excellent for the elderly who cannot eat like young people because it is easily absorbed and provides all the essential amino acids to. A study at McMaster University showed that elderly individuals who consumed whey protein had 40% more muscle mass. To get the best results, consume a scoop of whey protein after exercise or between meals. If you don't like the taste, you can mix it with fruit, yogurt, or milk. Just make sure to buy high quality whey protein and don't consume too much, as it might affect your kidneys. This is the list of foods that are very good for maintaining muscle in the elderly. I hope this video has been useful for you. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments. Remember to like and leave an English comment so that this video reaches more people. Until the next video, take care.